Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the week of November 12th through the 18th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, okay? Uh, this is being recorded on November 8th. What is today? Yeah. So this week, the week that it's being re recorded for isn't even come up yet, all right? So just keep that in mind. This reading is really for next week. It could resonate now. We'll see what comes up. Typically, I focus on love. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You need to remove some sort of obstacle from your mind, Leo. Your thoughts are getting the best of you. And you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. And you're going to have to surrender. Okay? You may be, you know, really conflicted about where you're going, what you're doing, but that's just an obstacle. It's in your head. Surrender. Okay? It looks, you're looking really good this week, aren't you? <laughs> you're probably on fire. You're probably looking really good. You're looking very confident. You're feeling creative. Uh, it looks like you are right in your element this week. And maybe, you know, some of you are letting go of something in the past. Six of Cups reverse. It's like you still could be clinging to the past and that's an obstacle. If you're still dealing with it, there's an obstacle that needs to be let go of for real. You need to break the tie totally, okay? That's an obstacle. It could be something from your past that you're still clinging to. I don't know what it is. Or your past is still clinging to you. Whatever it is, the ties need to be severed. They do. You have an opportunity for victory and success in another direction. You do. But you have to have respect for yourself so that other people will respect you. You have to be that leader. You have to prove that you are respectable. You know, you have to you have to basically demand respect to be respected. You guys are progressing to a better place. You're making progress. Making progress, moving away from something in your past. You are, you are. Ooh. So this is the sign of cancer. You could be dealing with a cancer, I don't know. But this is about making that progress still. Okay, this is about moving forward, finding the mental strength to take the lead, to head in that new direction, to make a move, to be the boss. You guys are really, it looks like you're, go, you're going through some sort of transformation right now. And you're definitely letting go of some worries and anxiety. It's like, this is really good, both of it. It's like you, you're really starting to feel better. If you have been struggling, it looks like you're starting to feel better. That's for darn sure. Not worrying as much as you used to. Oh, you're coming right into it, aren't you? Oh, wise one. This is the nine of coins. I'm good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm grateful for the experiences. And I feel abundant with who I am. So it looks like you guys are really <laughs> doing quite well this week. Feeling good. On top of your game. That's for darn sure. On top of your game. Looking really good, too. Loving it. Loving it. If you're independent, especially. It's like, I'm loving my independence. I'm doing so good. And other people can see it. Other people can see your 
your strength and they can see your confidence. So don't think that they can't because they can. They can see your beauty. It's clear. And it's like you become alive again. <laughs> What's that? The sound of music? I don't know what that, how the words go, but that just came to my mind. It's like I've become alive. <coughs> you guys have ended, a re some of you have ended a relationship and, and you're single now and you're good. It's like, I am single and I love it. And when you get to this point where you're single and you love it and you've surrendered to God, the universe, you've decided I'm not going to worry about it. That's when they bring you a new relationship. This Ten of Cups reversed. There could be a new relationship coming in. When it's upright, it's a relationship that is ending. You know, a new relationship could be coming in. You could be at the end of a dead-end situation. You're single. You love it. You're grateful. Everything is good. And all of a sudden, they're like, oh, okay. This person respects themselves. This person is ready. And so people are watching you. And hey. There still could be some sort of delay, though. This is a delay. A delay in happiness. Now, we're going to get a clarifier on that. There's a delay in finding this person. Maybe it's for those of you that haven't removed yourself from this situation yet. Some piece, there's a, there's a change in a relationship. There's an ending in a relationship. Some of you... Are still stuck there. Because maybe it's because of children. Or mentally stuck. But this remember there's still man, the very first card, there's still an obstacle in the way. And me and you gotta see what's mirroring. The delay is there's still an obstacle. You have to tell the universe you are ready by surrendering. By removing the obstacle that's holding you back from true happiness. And that you have to move on. This is the chariot is moving on. You have to move on from a dead end situation. Until you do, things are going to be delayed. Okay, so that's for the, those of you that are still stuck. Okay. But for those of you that have moved on and you're independent and you're grateful and you're good and you're single and you love it and you respect yourself, there's a new opportunity. Woo! Huh. And this new opportunity comes when you, when something breaks apart, when it breaks down to the point where it cannot be fixed. When somebody goes through that event that changes their life and makes them independent. Because you know, so many people are watching this. When you get to this tower moment and the shit hits the fan and everything falls apart and you become independent and a relationship that isn't working breaks down, that's when you're going to find your victory and success. And I know that's hard to believe, but the tower brings blessings in disguise. It breaks things down that are no longer feasible so that you can find that strength so you can... Grow. Somebody is in a situation where there's there's not. It's not love, okay? It's not. It's like there's the dream has died. You know what I mean? It's like the dream that we had is no more. There's no more. There's no more playfulness. There's no more fun. And you know you're gonna have to face this shit storm to get the happiness you deserve and it starts with self-respect you have to demand it to get it if you don't demand it you will not get it so anyway i feel like you are probably some of you are in a situation that you may be staying in for the children but there's no respect between each other and it's like you're not even in love anymore I'm sorry, but I mean, come on now. 
That's for some of you. And it's going to break down. Maybe this is the week. For those of you, you get independent. This is the independent person. Under here it is. Who's like, I'm done. I'm good. I don't, I'm good. I, I do better on my own than in this shit storm. Anyway, um, this is a Scorpio, by the way. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. We have cancer here. We have you. This is you. Taking the lead. Seriously. You're about to come right into it. <laughs> you are. Um, woo! And you know what you need to do. Your intuition and your psychic abilities are right on par this week. Okay, so if you're receiving messages or signs, they are absolutely telling you something. You are highly intuitive during this time, so do not de deny your thoughts. Something is done, it's over, and you're about to come out of this, this storm. <laughs> you are. The storm is over, Leo. It is, or it's about to be. Maybe this is the week where you face the storm for some of you. For some of you, you've already faced the storm. And it's like that phoenix rising from the ashes. For some of you, this this um, liberation, that you know, that this, this freedom that you, it hasn't happened yet. But it's about to happen. This is freedom. You guys are about to break free from something that is no longer fulfilling. Okay. Some of you have already done that. But things are still delayed because there's one thing that still needs to be removed. I don't know what that is. Ooh, Seven of Swords. You've got somebody who wants to come back. <laughs> okay. Is that what this is? For some of you that are, are single, now you're single and you're doing good. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're on top of your game. You're You're good. I mean, you're looking fantastic and you're feeling fantastic. Everybody is noticing you and somebody does it. Somebody wants to come back. Is that what the obstacle is? Is that what's keeping you stuck? Is the universe sees it and are you still, you know, this is communication. If you're still communicating, you're telling the universe, and this is the universe, you're telling the universe you haven't let go. This is the ultimate self-deception as well as deception you are deceiving yourself you are betraying yourself somebody uh oh so what a contradiction hey the high priestess with the hierophant intuition inner guide not listening not listening your intuition is speaking to you all the time. You know what you got to do. Somebody else may be giving you guidance, telling you not to do something, telling you probably not to communicate or don't do this or whatever. I mean, you're not listening. You're not listening to something. That's for damn sure. You're not listening. To break free truly from a toxic situation you have to cut that cord. You have to break that chain completely. And I mean it too. Unless you want to lie to yourself, you want to deceive yourself, and you want to continue to be stuck and delay new love, hey, that's your call. Codependency? Is that what this is about? I need attention. I gotta have attention from somebody so I'll continue to talk to this person that I don't love just because I want anybody to talk to me. Is that what this is? I need attention. That's codependency. This is also a card of sabotage. The devil sabotages things by tempting you. They will send you temptations to test you. Don't fall for it. 
you're being called to break free from something that is toxic. This is break free. Could be something that you've been committed to. This could be a divorce, been reversed, end of a marriage. I'm just saying, I'm just telling you what it is. Somebody may be committed to something and they need to break free and they're delaying it, perhaps because of the children. That's for some of you. For some of you, it, you're staying in a situation or you're, you're not breaking free completely just because you, it's, it's codependency. It is. I need attention. Temperance. It's time to allow yourself to heal. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with others. You're not the same person that you used to be. You're going through some sort of transformation right now. Don't fight it. Allow it. I think that you guys are on the verge of giving up on something. Or you have giving up on, given up on something. But deep down you may think that that... Perhaps there could be another chance. Is that what you're thinking? You've gained a lot of strength through something you have. You've persevered. You've stuck something out for quite some time. And you're really close to closing a door, it looks like. But the door hasn't been closed yet. Woo! Look at the nines. We have the nine of cups, the nine of wands, the nine of pentacles. I thought we had another nine, too. So nine of cups, nine of wands, nine of pentacles, nine of swords. Is that we have all four nines. The nine of swords is under there too. Nine, 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 nine. Closure, 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 closure. Nines are a sign that it's time to move on. You're at the end of the road. You're at the end of the road. To find wish fulfillment, you have to close that door and lock it. And that takes strength. So, right now, you, your happiness, your wish fulfillment, your, your new chapter is delayed. It's stalled. <laughs> oh, no. No. Why is it stalled? Because you're not standing your ground. Oh, please. So, you have to be the boss you got to take the lead. You're in control. You have to dominate this situation. Otherwise, whoever you're dealing with will dominate you. You have an opportunity for happiness and wish fulfillment in a new direction. But you have to close some sort of door first. It is delayed. It's delayed. Follow your intuition. This person doesn't want you to leave. They know you need attention. They, they see how beautiful you are. They see what, who you are. But it's all... It's... it's, it's not meant to be i'm sorry it's not strong it's not stable it's it's false it's a false foundation it's not you can't you can't make it last it's not gonna last okay there's going to be some sort of rude awakening that Changes everything, whether you like it or not. You might as well face it, deal with it, break the chain, cut the cord, do it now, unless you like to suffer, because the longer you hold on to a toxic, false foundation, the worse it's good. The, the, 
the, the longer the delay. I mean, come on now. The delay of happiness. You're dealing with somebody that has a really big ego and they're clinging to you and you have to have the self-respect to say I am worth more. I know what I am worth. So yeah, there's an opportunity for love here, but it's delayed. It's delayed because you have to take the lead. You have to dominate this situation and not let whoever it is that wants to come back hurt you. Just because you have codependency issues and you need their attention, remember who you are. Remember who you are. You are strong. You are strong. You are wise. You are abundant on your own. You can do anything. Don't forget it. Know your worth. Be grateful for the experiences. Prove what you are worth. Prove how strong you are. And they will bring you the one that is going to respect you. But if you don't respect yourself, then don't expect to get it from anybody else. Be patient. That temperance card. I see that patience is needed. But what's happening here is that, uh, you know, you're alone. Some of you are alone. Okay, you're alone and, and you want somebody, but somebody hasn't come in yet. And so this other person from your past just keeps whatever messing with you. And you're like, man, I'm going to be alone. No, be, uh, divine timing is at work here, okay? Shit don't, don't happen overnight. And I know that you guys want it now. No. Patience. Tell the universe what you are worth. Show them. Don't just tell them, show them. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. What was I just telling you? Divine timing. Patience. It's not, it's out of your control. You can't, it's, you need to heal from whoever this person is that was toxic. It takes time for that shit. Anyway, work on yourself. Be abundant. Get to these, this point where you are lit back up. Where you are glowing and shining and right back on top of your game. And when you do that, when you are no longer looking back at all, and you have surrendered. Remember, we started out with surrender. This is basically the same thing. To the universe, which is a tower. Anyway, once you surrender to God's timing, to divine timing, to the universe, it will come. But if you keep on looking back, you are, you are causing delays. You're delaying it by looking back because of codependency issues. Anyway, so that's what I have, Leo. You be the boss of your life. Good luck.